Lawrence Harbor University Physical Therapy Clinic, and I'm coming to you today from our studio. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to do an upper body workout at home using just soup cans and about five square feet of space. So let's jump right into it. The first exercise we're going to be doing is a series of push-ups. It's really going to work on your chest. So if you're not ready or if you're not able to do a full push-up position from the floor, then we can modify it. So the first modification would be up against a wall. You can do all your push-ups against a wall. Then you can move to a countertop height, maybe down to a coffee table height. And all the exercises would look just like this. Keeping a flat back, still maintaining good posture, working all the way down until you can do this exercise on the floor. So following along with me, going down onto my mat, the first exercise we're gonna do is a push-up with our hands about shoulder width apart. Shoulder width apart like so, fingers facing forward, go down into a push-up and come right back up. Now we're gonna turn our hands in. Hands facing in, go down into a push-up, come right back up. Notice I'm on my knees because I can't even do a full push-up, so that's an okay modification too. Now hands out, go down into a push-up, come right back. Now we're gonna go a little bit wider, Straight down, come back up, hands out, and again, hands in, one more time. Now we're gonna go even wider. This is a really wide grip. Make sure it's not painful. None of these exercises should be painful. Go down and do a push-up. Now switch, that's right, hands out. Go down, and again, hands in. Go down as low as you can and come right back up. The next one's gonna be a little tricky. Our hands are gonna be like this, kind of at a diagonal. Right hand forward, left hand back. Go down into a push-up and come right back up. Believe it or not, you guessed it. Hands in next. And again, hands out. One more. Now switch, left hand forward, right hand back. Go down into your push-up. Come back up. Oh, this is a tricky one. Hands facing out, like so. Go down into your push-up, come right back up. Now hands back in, down into your push-up, come right back up. And that completes our push-up matrix. Now, if you want an extra workout, you can always repeat this video and do multiple sets. But I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna move on to the next exercise. time to grab those soup cans I was talking about, the 8 ounce, 16 ounce, whatever you got on hand, especially if you don't have your own free weights available. I'll be using these purple weights to demonstrate. So we're going to do some shoulder height punches to really work on our shoulders. And this is a simple and fun exercise to do. So start with your weights or soup cans or peanut butter jars or whatever you have on hand, like so, and we're going to punch forward. I like to go in a nice athletic kind of stance. And we're just punching straight forward. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. And if you have some good workout music that you like to listen to, feel free to jump in and use that once you get a hang of it. Nine, and 10. Woo, we're not done yet, we're just getting started. So the next one we're gonna do is punching across our body. So reach and punch, that's one. Reach and punch, two, three, four. Really rotating, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, I can feel it in my shoulders. All right, the next one we're gonna do is punching to the side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, the next one we're gonna do is punching behind us. So I want you to turn your body and punch at shoulder height. Turn, punch. 
punch. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Who said you can't get a good workout at home? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh man, they're on fire now, but we're not done yet. We're gonna punch overhead. So starting with palms facing forward. Yep, I want your palms facing me, like so. And I'll punch overhead, like so. One, two, three, four, five. Really push to the ceiling. Six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. All right, same idea, but now I want you to turn and face your palms towards me, okay? And we're just gonna repeat. And one, still pushing to that ceiling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo, all right, almost done. One more punch to do, the last one. Up and across at an angle, like so. And that's one, two, three, four. Really reach across, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alrighty, we just finished everything over here. I need you to grab two equal sized um, belts and walk over to a doorway and I'll meet you over there. All right, now that you have your two belts, I want you to take these belts and I want you to use the buckle side. Go to a nice sturdy door frame. Open your door up and place those belt loops over the door. Helps if you're tall. Make sure that they're nice and separated. I'll put mine about 12 inches apart, okay? Now, this door has to be locked, okay? Take all the slack out of these belts, got it? Okay, now, bring your feet as close to the door as you can and straighten out your arms like so. We're gonna work on some lat rows, okay? Bend and pull yourself forward like so. We're gonna do 10 of these, so that's one, two, three. If you wanna make this more challenging, go a lot slower, slower, trust me, it'll get a lot harder. Four, five, six, who needs a gym? Seven. If you got belts in a door, eight. You can go Chuck Norris. Nine. Ten, but we're not done yet. Next, we're gonna work on bicep curls. So same kind of position, but now keep those elbows tucked. We're just working this muscle right here. Like so, pulling yourself up like that, okay? If you need better grip, you can always loop, okay? Like so. Two, yep, I feel I'm working. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there. Nine, ten, awesome job. Now we gotta work the other side of the arm. We're gonna work our triceps. So triceps again, nice firm grip. Elbows up over your ears, like so, and you're just straightening your forearm, straightening your elbow, like so. Body nice and straight. Two, three, four, five. See why it's so important to make sure those belts are really in the door? Six, who was that, seven, eight? Nine and ten. Woo! We're not done though. Open that door back up. Retrieve your belts. Off 
operator error there. All right, now we're gonna switch the belts to just above door handle height. Again, in order to make sure the door closes, you wanna gap them just a little bit, okay? Woo! Well, once you get the belts about uh, just above the door handle, making sure that door is nice and secure, it's not gonna open up on you. Take a step back, holding on to those belts, lean back. Now we're gonna work on rows, okay? So driving those elbows towards your side, like so. Wanna make this more challenging? Bring your feet closer to the door, you're at more of an angle. That's two, that's three, four, five, squeeze those shoulder blades together, seven, six, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, all right, it goes by. Those biceps didn't get enough work earlier. We're gonna revisit that one, okay? So again, I just got a nice secure hold. Just bend those elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my goodness, my arms are dead. So this is our excellent at-home um, upper body workout. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for bearing with me as I struggle to count the reps. We'll see you in the next video.